All right, so you are looking at two possible options for 45 ACP that someone may want to conceal carry. So this review is going to go ahead and tell you the pros and cons or the differences between the XDM 45 ACP Compact and the Glock 30 SF. So let's get to it. This right here is the XDM Subcompact, for, or I'm sorry, the XDM Compact 45 ACP uh, made by Springfield um, and this right here is the Glock 30 SF this is made by of course Glock now one thing that you're going to notice right here is they were virtually the same size so the grip of course all the way up to the top um, the XDM the barrel length is 3.8 inches the Glock 30 your barrel length is 3.77 so again virtually the same uh, other reviews of course because of the different models uh, they're not going to fit the same holster if you customize for one holster or the other so that's kind of an obvious give me grip angle um, as people have noted before your grip angle on the XD or XDMs they're going to have more of a angle pertaining to, you know, the, the common 1911 or basically the con common firearm for that matter. Glock always has their own unique uh, point of aim um, as far as ease of use of either. It's going to be subjective. Um, now, one thing I want to point out. So when you're looking top to bottom they're virtually the same height. Now the one thing with the XDM, now speaking for here in the state of California, this is going to be a nine round magazine. Well, What I have in here inside the Glock, this is a ten round magazine. So in order to make this fair, let me take out that magazine. I'm going to go ahead and shove in a nine round magazine now the one thing that you'll be able to notice if you're looking at the concealability the height of the grip now you're looking at a slight difference there I believe it goes down to 4.4 inches rather than the 4.8 inches so for what it's worth it can be a little shorter if you want to give it the same same amount of rounds and then of course nine, you can always have one loaded in the chamber of either, so you can have 10 total rounds. Now, the one thing that really separates these firearms, I'm not sure how well this will come up in the picture here, but if I set these side by side, you're gonna notice the top of the slide. And although not much of a difference, this is much more comfortable to conceal over time. This, as much as I love Glocks, it's almost like holding a stick of butter inside your waistband. So over time, this is, even though it's a fraction of a size difference, this is noticeably different throughout the day. So aside from that, both great, both very reliable. Now. The benefits to either one or if you'd say negatives um, the Glock Glock factory warranty although they're reliable they're dependable your Glock factory warranty is a one-year warranty so that could be a knock on Glock you know when you look over here at XD Springfield Armory has a lifetime warranty on all of their firearms uh, for the life of the original owner so, assuming that you bought it brand new and you don't ever sell it, for your entire life, your XD is going to be taken care of. That can be a huge plus. Now, I have heard that Glock customer service will still take care of their customers well after a year, but contract to contract, this one only has a one-year warranty. Now, the benefit, however is the Glocks are very simple to fix or replace parts or anything like that. I mean, 
I can even put put things back together in there. Um, and I'm not a gunsmith by any means, but they are extremely simple. So that said, you would have to make the choice there. If you're okay with always sending your firearms back, if in the event that there's a breakage, this one will always get taken care of for you. If you want to do a little learning and, you know, get to know your gun a little better, this one would be the way to go because it's simple. There is two things that I want to point out that there are a lot of questions on online or on the internet. So the one thing that people like to brag about with the Glocks is their magazines are interchangeable. So this being a Glock 30 SF, this magazine will hold the Glock 21, it'll hold the SF, it'll hold the magazine for the standard Glock 30, but being the 21 when you live in a different state that allows higher capacity, having a Glock 21 mag will work in here. So you're basically able to get your Glock 21 out of your Glock 30, hence 0.6 difference in your barrel. Now, what people don't mention is your XDM here. These magazines for the XDM, you can interchange them with the standard XD compact magazines, which will give you a tenth round, hangs out just a little, little further here. And then the standard XD 45, this will also take those magazines as well. And what's great about the XDM is they will, uh, your XDM will come with little sleeves that are the same material as the grip. So you can slide the XD 45 mag into here and then that little feed that's left over, you're able to slide the sleeve in and it just gives you a longer handle. So both of them have the same benefits. This one just gets talked about a little bit more in that regard. Another thing to point out uh, for what it's worth, uh, both companies will brag about one or the other, but your Glocks typically come with the polygonal rifle, rifling barrels and your XDM will come with a match grade barrel. The one thing I want to point out is the simplicity of taking these firearms apart. There seems to be a lot of um, talk about the Glocks being much simpler than your XDs. Um, again, it's all subjective, um, but I'm going to show you the difference in far, as far as breaking these down. So first, we're going to disassemble the Glock. First thing you want to do, of course, check the slide, make sure it's empty, no magazine, then put it in a safe direction, pull the trigger. Now you're going to see this little lever right here. It's going to match the one on the other side over here. You're going to take both of them, you're going to take the slide, go back just a tad. You're going to take those little levers, pull them straight down, and that's it. That does your disassembly for the Glock. Now, we take the XD, or the XDM, almost a similar step. So first thing you're going to do, you're going to slide it back. This time you're going to lock it back. You're going to check, make sure your firearm is clear. Now, the only difference is while it's slid back like this, you're going to take this little lever, you're going to pull it upward. It's not normally that difficult. I'm just having a hard time on the video. So once it's pointed upward, you're going to slide down the little slide lock here, and then you're just going to pull it off, and voila. So it's really not difficult. I would say because of the size of these little slide levers here, it's almost a little more difficult on the Glock, just depending on your finger size or whatnot. This one you're not pulling anything down, all you're doing is taking this little lever and you're pulling it straight up. 
and that's it. And then it slides off. You don't pull your trigger, you don't have to do anything like that. So that's that. Now looking at the internals of these firearms, uh, we're going to look at the slide first. Now the slide, typically Glock has a, a plastic guide rod slash recoil spring. Now it's not really a knock, they've always had a good history of you know longevity, they haven't had problems with their guns as far as the recoil springs go, but on a personal choice, I always replace it with a stainless steel guide rod. Um, again, just personal choice. Now another thing that we'll look at here is the XD. Their guide rod already comes with a stainless steel, very durable, very thick. If you look at the head of the guide rod that is kind of snugged into the barrel, you'll see a little difference there. This is significantly thicker, this is a little thinner for what it's worth. Now one thing I will point out, Glock recommends to switch out your recoil springs every three to five thousand rounds. XD, their recommendation is to swap them out every 10 to 15,000 rounds. That was told to me by a representative from XD. So again, for what it's worth, um, there you have it. So you look back at the internals coming up or going towards the back of the slide, you're going to see a notice of noticeable difference as far as, if you'd say quality or, or durable parts. Obviously, you look over here at XD, very thick. I mean, all the way through. I mean, these things look like they're built like tanks. Glock, again, their reputation speaks for itself. They last as long as tanks. But showing both sides, that's, that's where we stand there. Now, let's take those, put them to the side. Now, this is where they really make a difference between each other. So, looking at the frame pieces, going to go ahead and put them side by side here. Now Glock is going to be here on the right side. Glock is on the right side. XD is on the left side. Now if you look at the internals, XD again being on the left, Glock on the right. You look at the internals here and you can definitely see a quality difference as far as parts and Again, I'm not a gunsmith, but I would assume that thicker parts are going to last longer than thinner parts. So when you're looking at this, I mean, here's your slide block on both. XD, it's significantly thicker. More to it. Looks a lot more durable. Sorry for the shakes. Now again, going back to the simplicity of Glock, you can literally replace everything in here. You don't have to send it back for anything. All you need to know how to do is knock out this little pin on this back end here, then knocking out these two pins, and you're basically able to pull apart every single thing inside your Glock and replace it. And the plus side with Glock parts is they are all accessible. I mean, you can find everything online. Each of the parts, I mean, you're talking a couple of dollars for literally everything. Your XD. These are a little tougher parts to find if you do want to do it yourself. It is possible. There is sites online where you can find, find the uh, items that you need. But if you're looking at long term, I would just say that the XD has a little bit thicker, you know, better quality. Now, XD hasn't been around as long as Glock. So they're, of course, not going to have the longevity reputation. But, I've, you know, I've found videos where XD, they had a 10 millimeter that they were trying out. And the... The gentleman on the video, you can find it there on YouTube, I don't have the link right off hand, but the gentleman on the video shot 10,000 rounds of a 10 millimeter through an XD, and all he had to do was replace a recoil spring. I think he was a little excessive, I think he was replacing them every 10,000 rounds just to keep the fluidity going, 
but the firearm shot all 10,000 rounds of 10 millimeter, which that's pretty impressive. Glock has their own stress, stress tests, of course, and uh, again, their reputation speaks for themselves. But I would want to believe that give both of them the next 20 years, I would say that XD, again, just based off of the quality of parts, thickness, you're going to get longer life out of here. And if nothing else, if you don't want to do your own, own repair work on your firearms, your XD is going to last you your lifetime. So that's about it. As far as trigger pull, it's all subjective. Some people like the, I wouldn't say it's squishy. Uh, it definitely has a very comfortable trigger pull on the XDs. Your Glocks, it's like a, uh, to me it's comparable to the snap of a finger. I mean, it's just one shot or one pull, you feel the click. It, it's very noticeable. Uh, I believe this one's a five and a half pound trigger for the Glock. Your XD, I want to say it's a five pound or maybe it is a five and a half pound trigger. Definitely a noticeable difference between the two. So that's it. That is your Glock 30 SF and your XDM 45 Compact.